No justice! No peace! Taking to the street. It's the latest demonstration following the controversial arrest of Shakisha Clements at a Sarah Lynn Waffle House. Like it's very open. I just thank y'all so much. You don't have a hand, baby! It was four weeks ago today, 25 year old Clements taken to the ground by Sarah Lynn police. No, 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 no. Cell phone video going viral, showing her dress falling down in the process. The Sarah Land Police Department says the arrest was justified because Clemens allegedly threatened Waffle House employees. They told the uh, Waffle House employees that I'll come over this counter and beat your <laughs> I'm going to have your job. You ain't going to be here tomorrow. Why you was in my business, I may have a gun, I may have anything. I can come back here and shoot this place up if I need to. Still, some say police went too far, showing their support through a justice for Shakisha Clemens' rally today. They've disrespected uh, Shakisha Clemens, and I just find that to be absolutely disgusting the way that she's been treated. Justice for Shakisha Clemens. More than 100 people marching for justice, Clemens' attorney leading the way. This is about justice for Shakisha. Keisha Clemens, an unarmed black woman who was assaulted and battered by the Sarah Land Police Department, was thrown on the ground, threatened, disrobed, her civil rights and human rights violated, and it is unacceptable, and we refuse to allow them to think that they're going to get away with it. More support coming from Tamika Mallory, co-chair of the National Women's March. People came here no from justice. all over this area to stand with her and to say that we are with you for the long haul. It got heated when protesters clashed with a small group standing in support of police officers. <laughs> the tense moments continued inside the Waffle House where it all happened. Protesters demanding three themes. Now, a Waffle House employee who wanted to remain anonymous said since this incident, she's scared to come to work now out of fear for her life.